Hi, I'm Rob Bolton Kinghorn and I'm one of the teachers for the A-Level English Language and Literature course at Rygate College. There's a separate film about our A-Level English Literature course, so you might want to have a look at that too if you're trying to decide between the two courses. I think English, both language and literature, are the best subjects there are, but I guess that may not come as a surprise. If you like the idea of exploring how language affects us all in our day-to-day -day lives, keen to take part in some lively debates that will get you thinking about your identity and role within society, and excited about reading texts by some of history's most accomplished writers, then the A-Level English Language and Literature course is definitely for you. Uh, my favourite thing about the Language and Literature course is probably um, being able to study The Great Gatsby and being able to compare that with Othello. The course includes a wide range of spoken and written texts, both fiction and non-fiction, which we analyse using literary and linguistic concepts and terminology. This means we take a microscope to the text, picking apart the connotations of individual words and phrases and thinking about the choices writers or speakers make. The A-Level in English Language and Literature is divided into three distinct units. In Unit 1, we'll study an anthology of spoken and written texts called Voices in Speech and Writing. This contains a wide variety of texts, including newspaper articles and reports, extracts from autobiographies, travel writing, and digital texts such as blogs. In the second year, you'll study translations by Brian Friel. Um, I really enjoyed studying translations as a module. We learn kind of about Irish context, and it's interesting to see how the characters develop throughout the play. We're currently studying translations at the moment, and that's probably my favourite one so far, because I find it really interesting. There's a lot of historical context, and there's a lot of references um, to classics and um, other biblical references, so it's quite interesting to see those as you're studying the text. For Unit 2, you'll study F. Scott Fitzgerald's novel The Great Gatsby and Shakespeare's tragedy Othello. I find the context really interesting and learning about the background and the authors uh, really helps my understanding uh, to write my essays. This text pairing will be following the theme Society and the Individual. Both texts present the characters as outsiders who struggle to fit into society. Finally, Unit 3 is the coursework component. This is where you'll be required to produce some creative writing in response to the study of two stimulus texts. My favourite part of the course has to be the coursework because for me I'm very creative and I really enjoy creative writing. The amount of work you do outside of lessons really varies on the time of year and what you're studying at that time. When you're doing coursework there's quite a lot of work outside of the classroom. Um, but at the beginning of the year, I didn't find that I was having to do too much. Essentially, this is an essay evaluation where you technically analyse your own writing. The most important thing to being successful in the course is your essay writing abilities. So being able to provide your argument in a really concise way, that will really help you to be successful. So what can you do with an A-level in English Language and Literature? As with the A-level English Literature course, you'll develop excellent communication skills both in the written and spoken form, and it's these skills that set students up for all manner of careers. The skills and interests you need to be successful for the Lang Lit course is to have an enjoyment of reading and really love understanding about the context and the characters and the themes that the author uses to kind of portray the message they want. Ultimately, you do have to do quite a bit of work outside of lessons, um, but I think it's a really good thing because you get to do it at your own pace and you know, they set deadlines and you, you have lots, plenty of time to do it. Many students continue with an English or an English-related degree at university. Others study law, history, sociology or psychology, for example, making use of the linguistic analysis skills acquired from their A-level English. Always just ask a question because everyone's there to answer, even the students, so never be afraid to ask a question. All our English students benefit from the opportunity to take part in some English-specific trips and visits. These typically include going to see productions at the Globe, National Theatre and Old Vic. Plus you'll have the chance to get involved in our extracurricular book club and creative writing group. These are a great way of meeting other people and can become a great platform for exploring personal interests. So that's it from me. For more information about both our English courses, including information about how they are assessed, please take a look at the college website. Thanks for listening.